If you like playing Dungeons and Dragons, Shadowrun, and Magic the Gathering as much as we do here, good news, Arcana's moved. You can now find them at 154 Northampton Street in Easton, Pennsylvania. Come check them out. And again, you might just run into the cast of Van Worst. Now, on to the show. Uh Uh-huh. Sorry, yeah. Yes, sir, I understand. No. I I know that that I still need to stake the cat this. Yes. What? How am I supposed to? Yeah, yes, sir. I'll, I'll get I'll get it done. Oh, man. What's wrong, Van? Sounds like someone chewed on him for once. That was my captain at the Vampiric Authority Guild. I have a new mission. And if we fail, they are going to suspend me without pay. Well, don't worry, Van. I'll help you. What are we hunting? We aren't hunting. We're catching a Cerebrus. Password? What? Password! You interrupted my needlepoint and told me to come to the basement, and now you're asking me for a password? Yes, this is serious business. I seriously doubt you know what that phrase even means. Also, not only is it not my turn to chain you up, I could have sworn Full Moon isn't for at least two more weeks. So let's get to this quickly, or... Max, let him pass. But Van, you can't get into the secret base without the password... Ich würde ihm gern mit einer Zeitung schlagen, du Hund. Damn it, Max, we don't have time for this. He's just being a good guard dog. That's all. Jerry, we have far worse things to worry about right now than your nonsense. Get lost. Okay, now that we are all here. Van, what is the meaning of this? Why do we have a chalkboard down here? It doesn't fit in the living room. Oh, thank you, Max. That was most definitely the answer I was seeking. Orders have come down the line for me to capture a Cerebrus. <gasps> Alive. Excellent. So I can expect to have my home back. And what would you like written on your tombstones? How about, here lies worst the worst? I'm warning you, Jerry. What's the plan, Van? No more rhymes. According to the facts the guild sent me, the creature is guarding an old fort in this waterway. Everyone who has returned from there is in a state of inconsolable, muttering confusion. It sounds like they came to visit us. We are going to scout the area from the abandoned farmhouse about 500 yards from the target's location. Max, we are going to be relying on your nose. All right, Van. Once you pick up the scent, you'll go on foot. Silence is an absolute must. We have to know exactly where the Cerebrus is positioned. Nothing is more important than us maintaining the element of surprise. Well, good luck on your endeavors. I have things I must attend to. You're coming too, Earl. And what exactly makes you think I'm going to do that? Because if this mission doesn't succeed, I won't get paid. If I don't get paid, I can't make the rent. If I can't make the rent, I've no need to keep you alive. Ah, well then, I, I, I suggest aerial surveillance detail for me. Well, let's get a move on, gentlemen. To the van van! Oh, I've seen this movie. Which one of you can only get things done when no one is looking? Jerry! Someone pull Van's finger. Let's see if his mom passed her powers on him. Please, don't. Do not. You were warned. Okay, everyone get what you can together in 20 minutes. I'd like to leave before the salt shot wears off. And he re-manifests himself. All right, Max. Let us know when you smell him. Everyone, let's get the supplies inside. What is... and why do you need all of this? Well, there's traps and weapons, different types of bait, possible overnight stay supplies. So you have no idea how to capture the beast, now do you? Not at all. Well, if it goes bad and it eats you, I'll be sure to tell Jerry you sent your regards while I'm gathering my belongings. Well, you're a ray of sunshine. One of these days. I've got it, Van. Which direction is he? He, 
She I'm so confused. What do I call it? There's male and female smells. Well, if there's more than one of them, it's them. There's only one body. How can it be more than one? Well, it does have three heads. Maybe it depends which of the heads you're talking to. Why don't we just ask when we catch them? We'll worry about this later. Max, do you still have the scent? Sure do, Van. Then go. Earl, bat form, search the skies. Max, not the windows. We are three stories. What the? They've been gone for 40 minutes now. I'm going to wait outside. Who's that in the field? Oh, it's just a scarecrow. Hey Van, are you okay? I wasn't able to pinpoint the Cerberus. What are you looking at? Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing. I just saw a sheet on the scarecrow and thought of a person I knew. Might be out here, uh, I'm sorry, uh, so I came out to see. How did you sneak up on me like that? Oh, okay. I wasn't trying to sneak anywhere. Where's Viscount Earl? Worst. I, uh, wasn't able to spot the beast, but there's a cave about a hundred meters or so from the ford, if that's what we're calling it. I think our best chances would be in there. What do you mean, if that's what we're calling it? Well, this mighty river is nothing more than a creek. You could jump over it without getting your shoes wet. Uh Uh-huh. Okay, I've got a plan then, I think. One of us will approach the ford to draw them out. Then two of us will come up from behind and bolo their legs. (laughs) Their legs are the least of our concerns. We should be more worried about their mouths. That's what the ropes are for. At least we aren't using muzzles. You know, we didn't bring a trailer or anything like that. How are we going to transport the magnificent creature? I think once we have it under our control, I'll simply phone the guild and have them come with the appropriate transport. Catching things alive isn't exactly my specialty. Well, you seem to be fairly good at it. I do what I need to do. Would you rather be staked? Uh, Some days I'm not sure which is worse. Stop whining. Let's move. The faster we get this done, the faster we can go back home. Uh, warum muss ich immer lüde? Ich bin der letzte Vampir von Schlotterstein. Alle meine Haare, meine Jugend, alles nur geklaut. Dummkopf, Vampir, Jäger. Well, at least if I'm the one approaching the ford, I have the best chance of surviving this ordeal. Well, here I go. Step no further. You will not cross my ford. Not with your life. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Big words for a creature that's evading my sight. Step out here and show yourself, you foul beast. How dare you show me so much disrespect. Your insolence will not be tolerated. ¿Cómo te atreves a insultarme? Apuesto que se te haría difícil después de que te arranque el cuello. What? What the teufel was that? Bear no mind. Step no further and you shall be spared my wrath. Uh, this is getting out of hand. Come on out, little doggy. I have no time for your petty little games. Fool, I will show you no mercy. What the? Are, are you serious? Pero mírate, ¿de dónde sacaste esa ropa? ¿Del closet de tu abuela Amish? <laughs> He's been terrified into hysterics. Let's move, Max. We need to strike while we can. Right. Put me down. Max, don't ever do that again. I've got sticks in places I never imagined they would be. How did you run that fast anyway? Van, I don't see anything except Viscount pointing and laughing. <laughs> you, you guys should come and capture our Cerberus now. <laughs> we are mighty and terrifying. More like terrifyingly adorable. Como la ropa de abuela que traes puesta. 
This must be the confusion I was told about. Van, come over here. This is great. It's a Pomeranian. And what's the third head? A rat? ¿Qué tipo de cazador eres? Cargas, no cargas ni una pistola, solo cubiertos de mesa. Her mother was a chihuahua. Show some respect. I hope you're leash trained. How dare you degrade me to such things? ¿Cómo se atreven? So the middle head doesn't talk. No, I speak for the two of us. And what on earth is the rat saying? No one understands what the other one is saying. Wait, how do you not know what the other one's saying? You, you don't speak Spanish like she does? No. But how, how does that even... What is the wolf doing? Max, what on earth are you doing, man? Checking the undercarriage, but there's no dipstick. Well, that's not rude or anything. Are you a boy or a girl? No. What? We are servers. You can't just go around asking people questions like that, Max. Let's just get out of here. No, Viscount, quick! We can't lose them now! Not again. Yeah, we got it. It's in a sack. Uh-huh. You sent me on a mission to get your daughter a birthday present? We are not a pet. We are servants. ¿Cómo se atreven a hacernos esto? A ponernos esta porquería. Quítenme esto ahora, cazador barato de quinta. Ah, yo no soy una mascota. Sorry, sorry. Yes, I still like to get paid. Okay, yeah, we'll drop it off there. So what are we doing? I'm dropping you and Earl off at home. Then I'm going on the worst mission I've ever been sent on. Do you need help? No, no, he's going to drop us off. Don't encourage him to take us anywhere else. After chasing that Aldel, all I want to do is go home and relax. I bet. Does your arm normally bend that way? Oh, don't worry about that. It'll fix itself eventually. What we should be worried about is the damage to my clothing, though. Where am I supposed to find someone who can mend clothing like this? If it helps, your retrieval was well executed and your fall was graceful. Yeah, you only hit 12 branches. No, that does not, in fact, help. Thank you. Well, regardless, I'll be fine running the next mission solo. I can handle a five-year-old's birthday party on my own. Not one word to Jerry. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Poor Van. Kids pull on your ears and poke you in awkward places, and then they put silly clothes on you. I hope he's okay. Yeah, I I'm going to tell him. You can't. We promised Van we wouldn't. I have neither said nor promised anything of the sort. I'm telling Jerry. Telling me what? Wait, where's Van? Did he actually die? No, he is alive and well. Unfortunately. Oh, nothing ever goes my way. Van said not to tell Jerry anything. Such an obedient little puppy. Well, maybe this will teach him a lesson about forcing his affairs on such nobility as myself. I'm all ethereal ears. So, were you the clown or the babysitter? What? I hope you had the decency to housebreak the mighty little Cerberus before giving it to a poor, innocent child. Oh! Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Van Worst. If you liked what you heard, please rate, review, and subscribe. Also, feel free to join our group on Facebook and look us up on Twitter.